Historic numbers of Southern Baptists are arriving in Nashville this week. They're seeking to address major conflict and select a new president. It's going to be a watershed convention. Longtime SBC member Dr. Ed Stetzer says the meeting must confront sex abuse and specifically accusations that top leaders have mishandled claims of those victimized by it. Calls for a third party investigation will likely be brought up for a vote. It's not a distraction. You know, I'm at the Wheaton College Billy Graham Center. We care deeply about evangelism, but this is a real issue we have to be addressed in the church. Another issue driving a wedge between many Southern Baptists is critical race theory, which views racism as systemic. A group known as the Conservative Baptist Network warns those discussing the theory could be choosing woke politics over scripture. It's time we wake up and realize that we are not where we need to be nor are we headed in the right direction. Stetzer and others maintain the convention can pursue racial reconciliation without adopting the unbiblical aspects of the theory. For a denomination where far too many people were on the wrong side of the hoses in Birmingham, Alabama, Southern Baptists have an important responsibility to get this right, get this biblical, and to do so in a way that honors men and women from different backgrounds, cultures, and races. Those differing viewpoints raise the stakes for choosing the next Southern Baptist president who will replace Pastor J.D. Greer. Four men with different views on race are vying for the post. This next president, I think, will set the tone in terms of how we interact in the culture, how we relate to the world. In the last year, prominent Southern Baptists Beth Moore and Russell Moore, no relation, left the denomination citing racism and mistreatment of women and abuse survivors. And they're not alone. Southern Baptist membership has declined for over 10 years. Still, evangelical leaders note there's plenty of good work happening in Southern Baptist churches. Most Southern Baptists are faithful church members in their churches. They're, they're going about their lives trying to live on mission uh, to uh, reach their neighbors. I think there is hope. You know, the North American Mission Board is planting hundreds upon hundreds of churches, sh surprisingly high numbers even in 2020. The majority of church plants in the Southern Baptist Convention are actually not predominantly Anglo. More than 16,000 Baptists have pre-registered for this week. That's the highest number in decades. They're no doubt hoping that these issues will be resolved in some way and that Southern Baptists can move forward to focus on their number one priority, advancing the gospel. Heather Sells, CBN News.